I want to welcome you all to initiate. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started with our awards. Um, so first, I just want to introduce myself. My name is Sarah Taves. Um, I'm the Senior Commerce Manager for Distributech, so um, managing all the education, but the part that I absolutely love the most is getting to meet all of these amazing startups here. Um, I love working with you guys throughout the year and getting to meet you guys in person on site. So thank you so much for being here. Um, so I want to say again, thank you to our sponsor, which is Epri Incubate Energy Labs. Um, also, I thank all of our participating companies um, and our partners. So we are going to go get started. Uh, I did want to take one second just to um, just kind of give a shout out. We um, worked with Jerry Lagrani. He was um, part of Epri Incubate Energy Labs amazing he ran their program very similar to what what i do um we worked with him for for months and he actually passed away just a couple months ago um so we worked with him almost to the finish line so i just want to say a second um uh, take a second to just honor him he's awesome um, i'm gonna miss him so okay so this is gonna go really quick um i did want to just kind of touch on what all of these startups were judged on so they were judged on their technical viability their financial viability um their innovation their benefit to the community, as well as the quality of their pitch. So we have selected three winners. Based on that, our judges um, have selected our top scores. Um, and then we also have Duke Energy here that's gonna give out their award. Um, so with that, let's go ahead and get started. So our third place winner, if you guys wanna come up here, we'll take a quick picture. Uh, we also have our amazing judges um, and committee here. This is Joe Zerden from Hydro One. Um, our third place winner is SynPilot. Awesome job. All right, our second place winner, um, we're being presented, was being presented by Angie Rohr from Baker Tilly, is Tree Swift. Thanks so much. Congrats. Here, I'm going to give you this. Thank you. All right. And then our top score um, is going to be, ooh, everyone's on the edge of their seat. Think Labs. And we have Julia here from Electra presenting the award. Congratulations. All right. So next up, we are going to present our Duke Energy Award. Um, this is a startup that Duke has um, selected. Uh, they kind of looked at all of your pitch decks um, and then got to meet some of you guys in person. And um, they are going to present the award that we're just going to have meetings and conversations post event with them. Um, and so our winner for Duke Energy Award is... DG Matrix. Here it comes. I'm here at Send Pilots booth at DTEC Initiate, our third place finisher this year with Mike Heyme to explain what SendPilot is. If you missed Initiate and don't know, uh, Mike, what is it? So SendPilot is the first AI agent for utilities. Think of it as like, um, and like an intern engineer. So what you're looking at here is the main interface. I'm gonna click buttons instead of typing. I can talk to it as well and have a conversation and it'll talk back to me, sometimes a little snarky. It's plugged into your GIS, SCADA, uh, all offline files, completely secure, of course. Um, Here's a question I asked it, what assets are within 500 meters of this transformer that just went down? 
it had an answer. Amazing. But it doesn't stop there. I think what's really, really cool is it now does some basic thinking. So I'm going to say, make me a report. I never say please to my AI overlords. Make me a report on these assets. And what it's going to do is watch this. It's going to stream consciousness to me too. So I can see what it's thinking, like uh, almost auditing. It's going to look, think through to the different parts of the problem it needs for this report, tap the databases, uh, do some abstraction summary. Uh, we don't have voice mode on, but normally it says, hey, Mike, no problem. Here you go. The data quality was a C. And now here's my uh, report in about 20 seconds. I've got an asset condition report with some opinionated ideas about if I had to replace some things, what that would cost, what it would look like. Uh, and I can continue to have a conversation with Pilot and uh, be 10 times faster than ever before. That seems like it does a lot of work really quickly, but how do utilities know they can trust the output of a report like that? Exactly. So we tell everybody, think of it as an intern. You still got to audit it. The quality tab is something we live and breathe in utilities. So what you'll notice here is some assets and asset groups are better than others. And this is because the data ingester here, what you're seeing is all these systems are continuously audited. So if the data quality is a C, as you saw, Pilot will say, hey, I've actually flagged a few things that are of low data quality. It's a C or a D. You can act on this if you want, but I think you should double check it. Um, if the data quality is an A, I mean, you're in a great spot, but let's be real. Uh, we all have a lot of garbage data. This just helps you unblock that and start making decisions again. Mike, last question for you. What was DTEC like? How was Initiate from your perspective? Oh, amazing. Uh, the amount of innovation that happened over here, uh, the amount of great learnings we had from other startups as well. I think it's just the most collaborative environment uh, you could possibly be a part of too. I think I know we're going home with uh, 140 new use cases we're going to start training our intern on, uh, and I'm sure that's only going to get faster and faster next year. I'm here on the show floor at DTAC at the Tree Swift booth at the Initiate Spotlight. Tree Swift just finished second place in the 2025 Initiate Awards. I'm here with Mike Wozniak, who wants to talk a little bit about his technology. Mike, first, congratulations. Second, tell me what Tree Swift is. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for having us. Uh, Tree Swift helps utilities make better veg management decisions. We make inspections more efficient, we get more accurate measurements, and we allow the arborists on the ground to worry about the things that are really important. I noticed when you were on stage, you had a little toy with you. Uh, what was that? It looked very cool. Yeah, so that was our, our Swift pack. Uh, these, this is a LiDAR sensor and a 360 imagery capture. Uh, we combine this data to get a basically digital twin of the area around the line at the time data is collected. So we get every tree along the line, all the measurements for encroachment and strike potential, and uh, allow the utilities to make good decisions as we're planning from that. I think a lot of people out here at DTEC know how important vegetation management is. Um, how is your solution unique and what's been the reception like amongst the, those utility types who could be using it? Yeah, so we're unique in being uh, under canopy LIDAR and imagery collection, uh, whereas there's a lot of aerial LIDAR companies out there. Uh, we are the only ones offering under canopy solutions. Uh, we can fit into workflows that the utilities already use for inspections. So if a utility is patrolling their lines on foot. We have the SwiftPack sensor suite. If they are patrolling the lines in a vehicle, we have the same sensors mounted on a universal vehicle mount. Last thing, Mike, what was the experience of Initiate like? How was your week? Uh, we had a great week. It was really fun. We got to meet a lot of people, uh, learn a lot from the utilities we spoke with. And uh, yeah, yeah, it was awesome. I'm here at the Think Labs booth at Initiate at DTEC 2025. Think Labs, the winner this year at Initiate. Congratulations. I'm here with Josh Wong, first and foremost. Uh, well deserved. Um, for the people who didn't get to actually see the Initiate uh, this year, can you tell us what your tech is, Josh? Yeah, so Think Labs is an AI first AI native approach to model utility power flow. So we create AI digital twins of the grid, map it through neural network ways, and run it super fast and at super scale, and the ability to bring generative AI into providing grid planning and operational solutions. So around this grid model, this grid AI model, then we built agentic AI processes to help automate complex and nuanced utility workflows. Utilities are using those digital twins more and more as I feel like more and more of their assets become digitized, Josh. What's been the response amongst those utility type customers to your tech? Yeah, I think there's a lot of excitement. I think the pain point is perfect because utility grids are getting more and more complex. It's changing rapidly and we just don't have enough time enough people nor enough budget to actually manage a safe, reliable, affordable, sustainable grid. So we need automation to help solve some of the grid challenges as well as utility process challenges. So overall, I think just a lot of excitement, a lot of expectations as well, healthy expectations on the role and power of AI applied to the grid.
data trust is a big thing too. How do those utilities trust that that automation in the background is giving them the information that they want and need? Yeah, that's a great question. I think trustworthy and efficient AI is what we stand for. So what's AI for mission critical, trustworthy applications? There's a few things we do. For example, we deploy within the utility firewall, either on the utility cloud or utility on-premise. As well, we build custom specialized AI models rather than rely on large learning models that can hallucinate. So really, how can we rely on AI for trusted, efficient utility workflows? Last question, how was your week? What was the Initiate program like from your perspective? I think it's fantastic. Like this is the place for innovation. This is where all the greatest ideas go. So to be able to concentrate these and bring in the right players, whether it's utilities, investors, various service providers, this is where the magic happens for Distribute Tech.